This procedure begins with plating Arabidopsis seeds on MS agar. On day 14 after the seeds germinate, the seedlings are collected and sliced. The plant material is then digested in an enzyme solution breaking down the cell wall. The resulting mixture is sieved through a cheesecloth to separate the protoplasts from other plant material. The collected protoplasts are further purified on a sucrose density gradient by layering them with W5 solution. The protoplasts concentrate at the interface of the enzyme and W5 solution. They are collected and washed before experimenting. Hi, I'm Zhi Yang Jai from the laboratory of Olina Watamniuk in the Department of Crop and Soil Sciences at Cornell University. Today, we will show you a procedure for isolation of intact protoplasts from 14 days old seedling of Arabidopsis saliana. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the subcellular localization of the proteins of interest for isolation of intact organelles and for the functional analysis of gene using double-stranded RNA interference. So, let's get started. We start the procedure by preparing 0.5 times MS plates supplemented with 1% sucrose and 0.7% agar. For 1 liter of medium, weigh out 2.15 grams of MS powder. Add into 800 milliliters of water in a 1.5 liter autoclavable bottle with a stir bar in it and stir the medium on a stirring plate to dissolve the powder. While stirring, add drop by drop one normal potassium hydroxide to adjust the pH to 5.7. Continue the stirring and add 10 grams of sucrose. Next, add 7 grams of agar, which does not dissolve but will solubilize later during autoclaving. And finally adjust the volume to 1000 milliliters. Sterilize the MS medium by autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, keeping the stir bar in the bottle. After autoclaving, stir the medium on a stirring plate to cool it down to approximately 60 degrees Celsius. Stirring while chilling prevents the agar from precipitating at the bottom of the bottle. If one is able to keep one's hands on the bottle for 10 seconds, then the medium has cooled down sufficiently and the plates can be poured. Move to the hood in order to pour the medium into 150 by 15 mm Petri dishes, 90 mL per plate. Store the plates at 4 degrees Celsius. Now that the plates for growing the plants are ready, let's prepare the Arabidopsis seeds. Start growing the plants by sterilizing the Arabidopsis seeds. For plating on one petri dish, place seeds in an Eppendorf microcentrifuge tube in an amount equivalent to 50 microliters of volume. First sterilize with ethanol by adding 1 milliliter of 70% ethanol and mixing well. Incubate with the ethanol for 2 minutes, during which time the seeds will sediment. Take out as much of the ethanol as possible using a pipetter. Next, sterilize with bleach by adding 1 milliliter of a bleach tween solution and mix for 10 minutes by vortexing every two to three minutes. To facilitate removing the bleach solution, give the seeds a quick spin down and pipe it out as much of the solution as possible.
The final sterilization step is done in a laminar flow hood. Add one milliliter of sterile water to the seeds and mix well. Give the seeds a quick spin down and aspirate the water. Repeat this water wash four more times. Now that the seeds are sterilized, spread them on the MS plate. After spreading the seeds, keep the seeded plates for 24 hours at 4 degrees Celsius in the dark for stratification. Following the 24 hours of incubation, transfer the plants to a growth chamber and grow them for 14 days at 8 hours light and 16 hours dark. The 14-day-old seedlings are then ready for harvesting. Now that the seedlings grew for two weeks, it is time to prepare the protoplasts. In the hood, use a fresh razor blade to slice 2 grams of seedlings in 15 milliliters of filter sterilized TVL solution in a petri dish. Next, transfer the chopped tissues into a 200 milliliter beaker wrapped in aluminum foil. Add 20 milliliters of freshly prepared filter sterilized enzyme solution to break down the plant cell wall. Swirl the beaker to mix and cover with parafilm and aluminum foil to keep the tissue in the dark. Proceed to shake the plant tissues in the enzyme solution for 16 hours at room temperature. At the end of the incubation with the enzyme solution, collect the released protoplasts into a 50 milliliter falcon tube by sieving the mixture through 8 layers of cheesecloth pre-wetted in W5 solution. Sieve the remaining protoplasts by washing the cheesecloth slowly with 10 milliliters of W5 solution. The protoplasts are now collected in the falcon tube. Carefully overlay the protoplasts with 5 milliliters of W5 solution. Be careful not to disturb the sugar gradient formed by adding the W5 solution. Next, Centrifuge the protoplasts for 7 minutes at 100 G's. The protoplasts collect at the interface of the enzyme solution and the W5 solution. Collect 10 milliliters of liquid at the interface. Transfer the collected protoplasts to a new 50 milliliter falcon tube and add 15 milliliters W5 solution. Then, centrifuge for 5 minutes at 60 G's. After the centrifugation, remove the supernatant and resuspend the protoplasts in 15 milliliters of W5 solution. Again, centrifuge the protoplasts for 5 minutes at 60 G's. After centrifugation, remove the supernatant and resuspend the pelleted protoplasts in 1 to 2 milliliters of W5 solution. Finally, evaluate the protoplast yield by cell counting with a hemocytometer under the microscope. The culturing procedure described here yields healthy Arabidopsis seedlings suitable for isolating protoplasts. 
after digestion and separation on a density gradient, harvesting one gram of fresh seedlings typically yields five to 10 times 10 to the sixth intact protoplasts. We have shown you how to isolate protoplasts from 14 days old ceiling of Arabidopsis. When doing this procedure, it's very important to remember success depends on healthy plants. Therefore, it's important to maintain a steep to plate ratio as specified in this protocol. For 90 ml MS medium per plate. Finally, remember the protoplasts are very fragile. Once the cell wall is removed, handle protoplasts carefully. Mixing by typing instead of vortexing and uh, preparing up and down. That's it. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your experiment.